Hello, one and all. This is Welcome Attack and so welcome back to Let's Play Thief, Thief 2. When we last left off, I was frantically looking around for the last bit of value because I need some. I need some value, and I refuse to believe that this area was entirely devoid of any kind of reward because there was a guard up here, and you had to have a key to get in here, and just all that stuff, and we found nothing. Never mind. Never mind. We found something. That didn't take long. Uh, we need a switch, and switch has been found. <gasps> Boom. Got it. Now all we have to do is get Basso out and Guinevere out, and that's not going to be an issue. So, time for the level sprint. Awesome. Let's go ahead and quick save. I knew there had to be something in here. I knew it. They wouldn't have that room be empty. Let's go ahead and leave. Not that way. Down here will be fine. If I can remember how to navigate out. Get the flute on standby. If I could actually, for some reason, the, uh, the the backwards key. Oh shoot! I realized what happened. I accidentally unbinded that. I was trying to change the binds in between videos, and this is the punishment I get. Where is it? Previous inventory item. This one. I'm trying to unbind the one that is. Um, that's bound, bound to my uh, record key. Because you notice every time I start a new video, I have a an, an item in my hand, even if I didn't have one at the end of the last video. It's because the button I use to do that is bound to something. And that was what I was trying to fix. Wrong way. It's the last door. This one. Come on, open all the way. Toot toot! Oh. I said toot toot! Toot? Toot toot. Basso, are you deaf? Thank you. Run! Run, you love blinded fool! Now I bet I can almost scale that wall. If I can get on that bush, I bet I could. Maybe we'll try that later. First thing, let's get Basso his lovely lady. The level is clear of every dude except one. You can just go, man. Basso. Is he moving again? Yes. Come on, buddy. We ain't got all day. Everyone's unconscious. You could just go tracing through these halls like this. There you go. Put that put some spring in your step. Go. Go. Basso, I have a bow. I have a sword. The kitchen. Why through the kitchen? I guess in case you didn't knock out that other guard, I suppose. I guess that's why. You could just go in a straight line, my dude. Oh, Guinevere, my Guinevere! I wish I could do that with my bare hands. Basso! Shh, come with me. You don't need to shush. Watch. I'll just make all the noise in the world. Aw, I didn't get to get in there. She got scared because I, I, I swapped the sword, but she's fine. Everyone's fine. Nobody got hurt. 
if you hurt Basso or Guinevere, the mission just ends. Well, I mean, it doesn't end, but you, you you get failed, and then, like, after five seconds it ends, but it is not immediate, no. Oh, shoot. The mission's gonna end before I get to jump on the bush. Run! I must climb the bush! Oh, I thought there was a bush over here. Nope, never mind. Yes, I'm amazing. Mission complete, including the bonus objective, because I'm an awesome possum. Look at that. Look at that. That's awesome. Total time, 39 minutes and 52 seconds. I found not all of the loot. There was still more to be found. Jeez. Yeah, it's Steve for you. I rarely underpresent these things. Pockets picked, 3 out of 9. Uh, knockouts, 13. Innocents killed none, and others killed none. Bodies discovered by enemies, 1. One, one person got discovered. Secrets found, 1 out of 3. Hey, I'm not perfect. Business has been kind of slow these days, thanks to Sheriff Gorman Truart. He's been coming down hard on my competition and anyone else he deems unlawful. I've been playing it safe by keeping a low profile, but as my landlord recently reminded me, the rent is late. He says he's going to pay me a visit tomorrow to collect, so I'll have to go amateur for some quick cash. The warehouses by the docks should fit the bill. In addition to the usual shipping traffic, there's also a small smuggling operation sponsored by the local underground. Not too many guards, lots of dark corners, and several points of entry should make this job painless and profitable. Maybe I'll even have something left over for myself once the rent is paid. <laughs> Wasn't that long ago that I was planning on my retirement. Now the only thing that's getting retired is my standards. If things get any worse, I'll have to go back to picking pockets in the streets. The warehouse job, titled Shipping and Receiving. This is a long mission. We are going to be on this one for a long time. Not that it's a bad mission, it's a long one though. Difficulty Expert. Gilver knows he's seeding out a very important shipment tomorrow. But what he doesn't know is that it's being redirected to your fence. Find a new shipping label and put it on the big crate outside of Gilver's office. Some rare spice has been smuggled through the warehouse district. Find it and you'll make some quick cash on the black market. The landlord is coming tomorrow. You need to steal at least 850 loot to cover the rent and other expenses. You're a thief, not a murderer. Being the professional that you are, you can only pull off this job without killing anyone. After you're done, you'll need to get out of the area so you won't or so you don't get caught. Return to the stack of crates where you first entered the warehouse district. And our first shopping screen, including new items. The slow fall potion. This potion arrests some of your downward velocity when taken and reduces the effect of gravity. Basically, you fall slowly and don't take any fall damage. It is actually more useful than you think, because do you remember all the times I would fall onto a floor and make noise? Not with the slow fall potion. That makes it very useful. Also, invisibility potion. This potion makes you invisible. Beware that it only lasts a few seconds and does not make you inaudible. Invisibility potions can really get you out of a pinch, but they are expensive. Someone wants to give you some advice for a fee. 50 bucks? We'll pay for it. What do we need? Broad and arrows? Basically useless to us. Water arrows, we want as many as we can get our hands on, although we're not going to come across very many torches. The warehouse is pretty much all electrical, unfortunately, but we're going to take all the ones we can get. Cleans up blood stains. Did you notice that? The water arrow does not do any damage, but it douses torches and other burning objects and cleans up blood stains. That part is important. Because I don't remember if they did in the first thief, but in the second thief, if you leave blood around, the guards will definitely notice it. It's not something we ever encounter because we don't kill people, so we don't leave blood piles. But 
if you're killing people and trying not to get caught, very important. Moss Arrow, we're taking it. Just like before, we don't keep our gold from mission to mission, so we're going to spend all of it here. We bought everything we want. Flares, we don't want. We'll take them if we can get them, but we don't want them. These we want. And they are expensive. I do have enough to get the invisibility potion and none of the other items. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to get the flash bombs. Because I think I can get more use out of more usage out of three flash bombs than I can one invisibility potion. And with that, I guess we could pick up a flare. Or two flares. Or two broadhead arrows. It's not that broadhead arrows are useless to us. I can make noise. But I already have 20 of them in my inventory, and that'll be enough. So we're going to pick up two flares just to have them lying around. Everything else costs too much. Alright. Let's play mission. And we start here. And already, you notice some magic voodoo lights over there, which, no, we cannot douse. And you can see a guard there as well. Let's go ahead and get down here. You can see a guard there as well. This place is covered with guards. As I said, shipping and receiving is a long mission. We're going to be here for a while. But, it's a good one. I like shipping and receiving. Shipping and receiving is a weird type of level that I can't really describe because I don't know a good thing to compare it to, but um, okay. guards up top. The weird thing is it's the, it's it fits nope I'm not getting up there no matter how hard I try it fits the stereotype um, for a certain t version of a thief mission where the majority of the mission, the most important stuff, all takes place at the very end. Um, meaning, we're actually going to be spending just as much, if not more time in this mission, interacting with the level after we've cleared it, than when we've, than like, before we've cleared it. Because, you'll see, but basically there's a lot of areas to explore in which uh, are really only worth exploring once the level has otherwise been completely cleared. <sighs> I want to get to that guard there, but I don't know if I can get to him without me noticing. Oh shoot, he's coming back. Okay. Basically, we want to be right here. If this is going to work at all. That box there is open. That's worth investigating. In a moment. I want to know if this will work. Hello? Not when he does that. Anyone there? No. Hold it. I see you there. Nope. <laughs> Who is that? Does he still see me? I'll find you. Believe me, I will. He's just blind and stupid. But we're gonna load. No need to worry about that. We'll just try again. <sighs> I just have to do a better job memorizing his patrol route. Nope. That was worth trying, though. Jump up here, because, whoops, jump up on the ladder, because apparently he just can't see you when you're on the ladder. We'll wait, we'll wait, we'll be patient. Taking out the eyes from above is important. And this is Thief, it's all about patience. At least it is to me. I have to imagine there are probably people in the world who play thief and just have this attitude of rush, 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 go, 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 but 
It's not really me. What's going on over there? Does he see me? Come on, coward. Face me like a man. He does. Okay. Well, that's good to establish. It makes sense because, you know, the, the floor isn't solid. I can see through it. I just didn't know if he was that smart. Apparently he is that smart. He's fast. Don't try to run, Tapper. Just surrender. Oh. Now. This has gotten completely out of hand. Okay, we're loading. <laughs> Darn. Well, how getting to him will have to wait. Or I could just be even more patient about it and just wait for him to, to complete his cycle again and then just hang out here. We're probably going to do that because I do want to explore that box. So, yeah. Sorry, the uh, forward momentum we had from the other two videos has been completely lost at this point. I realize that. I was doing a very good progress, not or a very good job that's just not lying around and waiting for things to happen. But um, we're back to the standing around and waiting for things to happen phase. Where are you going, sunshine? We'll worry about him later. So he's going to go into there and then come out of that same door later. So let's pull the blackjack out. Oh, he doesn't. Hmm. Don't try to run, Tapper. Just no. surrender. I think I can get to him still. Poop. I just have to be... I have to be really awesome to do this. But pulling off awesome things is... part of the enjoyment of Thief. What was that? Hey! No. Not quite fast enough. Can I get some help over here? Is he unconscious? Nope, that was a kill. <laughs> it usually is when you, uh, when you do that. Hey, every once in a while we get away with it. Every once in a while we get away with it. Okay, getting to this guy is just gonna be, like, not on board. I heard that. Show yourself. I'm not kidding about He lives, just to spite me. You know what I could do? I mean, nope, <laughs> not, not if I actually hit him. Oh, I meant to hit the door. Come on now, what was that? I just need him to linger. I need him to like turn around. Come on, coward! Face me there like we a are. man. Hey, stop right there! Oh no, he knew where I was. Okay, don't shoot me. You're you're a bully. Uh, All right, fine. I give up. There, you win. Jeez. Oh. Oh. Thank you. How rude. That guard is very rude. You get to go sit in the corner, because you're not rude. And that's what being not rude in Thief gets you. Being not rude means corner time. Oh, there's... There were some supplies, and then I flashbanged my own face, because I picked one up and it selected it automatically. Let's try that again, more gently this time. Anything up here? 
Yes. Lots of goodies. <laughs> Excellent. I'm gonna run over here. I'm gonna have to adjust something in the options to stop to stop my inventory from hanging around quite so much. But thank you all for watching. Despite the fact that this is a 20 minute video, we've only made three minutes of actual progress into the mission. I will see you all later. Take care and bye bye. Thanks for watching.